What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Snap walkthrough again. The fourth time ever, maybe fifth time, I don't even know, guys. It's been a while, but yes, as promised, Pokemon Snap, month of April. Why? Because I believe in the month of May, we are going to get the new Pokemon Snap, so what a better way to, you know, jump on that chip than to start with the original, which is Pokemon Snap. Coming out in 1999, now as you can see, I already played it once and all that crud, I get it. Draven, you've been playing this game quite so many times. Get over it. Stop changing it up. Well, guess what? To all those who are saying that, I do what I want. So, we're going to be going with a new game yet again because we can. And we're going to do the same old, same old, and that is rename ourselves Draven again because we can. So... What got me to thinking to, well, not, well, I can't even spell my name right now. What got me to actually uh, change up my game again? Well, because of this, guys. As you can see, we are starting the game with a new background right here. I haven't seen anybody on YouTube do this. Might as well do it right here. So here we are in Professor Oak's lab, and he's going to be like, Hello there, Draven. I'm Oak, the Pokemon professor. The reason I invented uh, or invited you here is the Pokemon Report. I'd like for you to take pictures of Pokemon for the Pokemon Report. Here on Pokemon Island, wild Pokemon can be found everywhere. This is my new invention, the Zero One Vehicle. You can take this on your trip. The Zero One Vehicle constantly moves forward the Gold Gate. Shall I repeat this information again? Hell no! Alrighty, so I'll teach you how to take pictures in your first course. I'm counting on you, Draven. Alrighty, so our first course is going to be, of course, the beach and all that stuff. So, like I was saying, guys, the new Pokemon, uh, the new Pokemon Snap game is coming out in May, or at the end of this month right here. So why it might as well take advantage of it by posting up a video every single day on the weekend. Yes, this is a weekend walkthrough. It's going to take 10 episodes, guys. Literally 10 episodes. It could be less, but I kind of want to spread it out to 10. Uh, let's see. This is all to get us ready to the new Pokemon Snap game, which I will try and feature out by the start of May. But right now, just enjoy the first few episodes, guys. We're taking it nice and slow. Remember... I've had a hell of a march, and me coming out for Pokemon Snap right here is just a miracle itself and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and go to the course. As you can see, we are starting off with the beach. What a sunny beach! It looks great. I could get some awesome shots here. Or there. I don't even know. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got right here, guys. So, as you can see, we are changing up the background again to the beach. Every single one of these... Bam! Every single one of these, uh, you know, backgrounds will change constantly. As you can see, the instructions are going to be right there. Try to take a lot of picture or Pokemon pictures. Bam! Now, this is like probably like the 100th time of me playing Pokemon Snap. I don't know, guys, but this is like right now. To this right here is for me to, you know, capitalize on what will be the new Pokemon Snap game, and hopefully it'll. I'll play that game like a thousand times, probably like within the next year or so. Uh, it literally has been 20 years since spoke the poke or this Pokemon Snap game has been out. And uh, well, I'm trying to get a picture of Lapras right here. There we go. It's been 20 years, so of course I still have the original game that I got in Christmas and all that stuff. Uh, let's see, how did I get the new po or how did I get this Pokemon Snap game? Let's see, I could tell you from my childhood that the Nintendo 64 was the hottest thing back in the day. And Costco had this kind of like, uh, Costco had this, uh, this thing where they sold, uh, Nintendo 64s with either Super Mario World, or not, not Super Mario World, but, um, what was it called? Uh, Mario 64 or, you know, uh, Pokemon Snap. I happen to be... I happen to like Pokemon a lot that my folks actually, you know, got this for Christmas. Now, they tried, uh, they tried very, very hard for, for me not to find my pre my present. They hid it behind the, uh, they hid it, they hid it behind the, gar or not the garage, but their closet right there. And I found it, and every single time I, you know, snuck into my folks' room, 
I would go into their uh, into their closet and just check out the Nintendo 64 because I could not wait to play the game. I was so excited, guys, and you know, I was actually very very happy that I got it because damn. And what else did what what else did I find out? Well, back in the day, you know, one of the biggest things for Pokemon was the secrets that it held and all that stuff. And that was people would make up stories about that you can actually find Mewtwo in this game. Uh, you could find, I don't even know, different kinds of Pokemon. But really, there's only 64, 66 Pokemon in this game. And I'm going to get a good shot right here. Look at this. Booty pictures. And there we go. Like I was saying, guys, uh, my friends would constantly, constantly make lies about how... There's a Pokemon here in this level, and the Pokemon in this level, and all that crud. Turned out not to be true. That's why, back in the day, there was, like, not a lot of cheat sheets out there. You had to go on dial-up, you know, the kind of internet that, you know, makes that crazy-ass noise. Yeah, that was, uh, that, that was how we found out about this game right here. So, here we are in the, uh, well, the checkout, and we are going to be checking out the best pictures for our Pokemon. Unfortunately, I did not get a good picture of... Pidgey. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be picking up pictures that you know I think are good. Eventually, I'll beat them up. I'll beat them and all that stuff. And you know what? This one's good because it's close by and all that crud. And then let's see. Hmm. Let's see. You know, if we get Butterfree with a Pokemon right next to it, it could it could serve for extra points. Now, this is the one that really gets to me. In this game, you'll actually find Pokemon that, you know, you need to have to take a picture right dead in the center in order for some kind of weird thing to activate. In Lapras' case, you have to take a dead a picture dead center, that way it can get closer and closer. As you can see, this one right here is perfect. Eventually, I'll get better. Eevee, I will take a better picture of this guy. And I think, yeah, we got a few of Meowth right here. Maybe this one right here, but it should be Pidgey and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and take a look at Professor Oak's check. And here we have a Pidgey. I'm just going to breeze through this, guys, because it really, uh, yeah, there's not a lot. Yeah, there's other Pidgey in this. Wonderful. And, well, here we have Doduo. Look at that. Oh, yes. Getting more pictures. And, yes. And here we have Pikachu. We'll eventually get better pictures of this guy right here. Wonderful. Okay, and then Butterfree. Look at that. Okay. Usually I get bad pictures, like very, very bad pictures of Butterfree. Bug the crap out of me. Now, this is probably going to be my worst one because... You were close. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, very small. Eventually I'll get something big. Here's something big for Lapras. And... Wow. There are more Laprases in there. Yes. Alrighty. So we got a good picture right here. And here we have Meowth. Now... It would be a little bit different for Pidgey if you were to take a picture right here because they're actually using Gus and all that stuff. So, after this trip, he's going to call us and he's going to go, Wait, Draven! Come to the office or the lab. I keep on calling it an office for some reason. So, here we have Professor Oak. He's going to be like, I saw the pictures taken by Draven. I saved those pictures in the Pokemon report. I'll help you out once you have more Pokemon pictures. Good luck, Draven. Oh, I have arranged that. Uh, so... Or I have arranged it so that you can uh, see the Pokemon report. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take a look at our Pokemon report. As you can see, click more Pokemon pictures and all that crud. The best shot might be Lapras. Yes, it is. Look at that. Lapras, because uh, there's multiple Laprases in there. Obviously, I'll beat it some more. And then, as you can see, my worst picture right now is... Eevee, which, well, eventually, it, it will change. Eevee's usually a Pokemon that I leave out at the very end and all that crud. So, that is it for episode one, guys. That is it. I get it. You guys want to see more. I could beat it in one setting, but I kind of want to make this a uh, weekend thing. That way you guys can have an episode on Saturday and on Sunday. You know, something that you guys haven't been getting uh, this past month. I do apologize for that, but... More episodes will come out, so stay tuned for tomorrow's episode while we go into the tunnel. See you guys.